What would you do to achieve your dreams? Mayor, help me! I'm sorry, Prince. Every wish has a price. After that terrible accident many years ago, we thought we would never be apart again. But then, my husband Jack received a letter saying he had a debt to pay in Wishville. He promised to return quickly, but several days have passed. I think something bad has happened. I need to help him. Greetings, traveler. I'm the local miller. What brings you to this land? Oh, of course. Wishville calls to you, too. You seem like a nice person. I have some advice for you. Stay away from the town. It's a dangerous place. You say your husband's here? <sighs> well, follow me. I have the keys to the town gates. Get over here, quick! mention the local roses are quite unique but that doesn't matter now we'll be safe behind the town walls oh no i've lost one of the keys to the town gates try to find it while i repair the bridge i have to finish my work before sunset if i don't mayor tom will punish me take this map with it you won't get lost here I'm on the right track. I wonder what this R stands for.
Perfect. We have to get to town quickly. Please, no! No! Thank you. 
I'm finally free! Your husband's in danger. If he's here, that means he signed a contract with Mayor Tom. He has to finish his assignment, no matter what it takes. All debtors are doomed to stay in Wishville. Even death can't free them. Find your husband before it's too late. Farewell. me up. I'm surprised. I don't know who you are. You don't belong to Wishville. If you get me a drop of blood that tastes familiar, I'll tell you something interesting. I'll even reward you with a gift. This is the Miller's blood. The Miller, his wife, and their daughter lived a happy life. The mill provided everything they needed. That all changed when lightning struck the mill, and it burned down. The family kept working, but it wasn't enough. Winter quickly approached, and his family went hungry. The miller made a deal with Mayor Tom, so his family wouldn't suffer. The mayor promised to fulfill the miller's wish in exchange for his service. So the miller signed the contract. Jack would never leave his favorite watch here willingly.
Leave. Death awaits them. They're all doomed. The time has come for us to stop the horror outside our gates. Today, we'll get rid of these roses for good. Welcome to Wishville. I'm Tom, the mayor. I already know about the Miller. What a sad end. I'm surprised he managed to keep his promise before leaving Wishville forever. We'll all miss him. Alas, life in Wishville is as dangerous as it is beautiful. Oh, the letter. I sent it. I always make sure people pay their debts to me. Your husband is no exception. Don't worry. One way or another, you'll see him soon. If you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. I don't want strangers interfering with my plans. Darling, wake up! I need you! Why are you here? It's too dangerous! Be careful! It's always the same. They go to the castle, but only Mayor Tom returns. He eventually finds more debtors and it starts all over again. Ah, your husband's among them. I hope his wish was worth it. But wait, what's that? Something has weakened Tom's power. The roses are breaking into the town. This is my chance. I'll need your help. Have you brought anything for me? Oh, this would be Jack's blood. He's a new arrival to Wishville. Honestly, it's quite surprising he's still alive. Jack was going to propose to his beloved while they were on a balloon ride. What was supposed to be a beautiful moment became a disaster when a freak blizzard struck. The balloon crashed and Jack's beloved was badly injured. Jack couldn't save her life. 
Luckily, he found someone who could save her. Thus, he signed a contract with Tom. Why, congratulations! He did this for you! I'm Philip, the hero with the flaming sword, the victor of roses, the liberator. Well, that's who I used to be. The roses have returned. Now I can fulfill my contract. It says the beast of thorns must be destroyed. Use my sword. There's still some magic in it. That was a close one. Well, the roses destroyed the door to the mayor's house.
You did it! The beast is gone! I'm free! When I was alive, I tried to fulfill my contract. I fought roses and monsters that were sent to Wishville from the Labyrinth. They hunted the residents of Wishville, including Mayor Tom. He fears for his life. To protect himself, he sent those poor debtors to the Labyrinth. Have you brought anything for me? Yes. I remember the Prince Philippe well. He was the youngest of five princes in his kingdom. His brothers were stronger than him and kept everything for themselves. He just wanted to be noticed. So, Mayor Tom granted his wish to become a hero. Tom offered him a legendary sword and promised to make him the hero of Wishville. Philippe would be famous throughout the world. The prince agreed and signed the contract. The roses have me! If you want to see your husband again, help me! If I die, Wishville will fail and take everyone with it! My sword! No! What are you willing to do to save your husband? Look. The others failed, but I can help you. I can wake the power that would let you save him. Just sign here. A deal's a deal. You've agreed to bring me the spindle from the castle. So I'll help you find your husband in the labyrinth. Use this magic yarn. It'll help you follow Jack's footprints and save you from any rose attacks. Just remember... Everyone must pay their debts.
This is Jack's scarf. He's wounded. I should hurry. Another living human in the labyrinth? It looks like Tom needs something from the castle. I'd help you get there, but I need your help first. I've seen many people die here. You must be special to have passed through the labyrinth. I'm King George. This used to be my kingdom. Now I'm just trying to leave this awful place. My contract says I have to give Tom a third of the golden yarn my wife spun. Some squirrels stole the last basket. When I tried to gather the yarn, the roses caught me. Please, fulfill my contract. Then I'll tell you how to get into the castle. I'm free. Thank you. Prepare yourself for even more roses in the castle. They are guarding my wife, Augustine. She's sleeping there. A man managed to get to the castle earlier. Was he your husband? I don't know why, but the roses ignored him. Go ahead until you see a trolley. It'll take you to the castle. 
Good luck. Have you brought anything for me? Ah, yes. I remember King George well. He and his servants lived in luxury. Rumors about his feast spread throughout the kingdom. But the continuous feasts required money. Soon the treasury was empty. Out of despair, the king appealed to Tom. He asked Tom to be matched with the miller's daughter. There were rumors she could turn straw into gold. A wife like that could fill the king's empty treasury. Tom promised to arrange everything. So George signed the contract without hesitation. Jack's already at the castle? Darling, I'm coming!
love. I did everything to save you, but you're always running into danger. You've signed Tom's contract. Don't worry, I'll find the spindle to save us. I beg you, stay here where it's safe. That's impossible. The roses are unstoppable in the castle. I have to get into the castle and warn Jack. If you have a wish, you've come to the wrong wish, Master. I could have helped you before I became a debtor. I see you're bound to Mayor Tom as well. He's overconfident in his ability to hide his secret. He demanded I stay here and guard the secret niche until it could be unlocked. Maybe you could access the hall, uncover his secret, and fulfill my contract. Then I'll finally be free.
You've outsmarted him. Tom was a boy when he found out my real name. That enabled him to take my power to become the next Wishmaster. That's how he got the magic spindle. 
Tom used it to spin gold yarn that could grant wishes. I don't know why he kept this ring, but maybe it'll help you fulfill your contract. Have you brought anything for me? It's difficult to remember. It happened so long ago. Wishmaster Walter was honest and fulfilled wishes for people who really needed a miracle. The one who knows the Wishmaster's true name can control him. Tom tricked Walter to discover his real name and took his power. Walter's vitality started dwindling, but he dreamed of a normal human life. A life without the Wishmaster's burden and eternal life. Tom promised to give him that life. So Walter signed the contract. Just remember, everyone must pay their debts.
I ask you not to follow me. The roses didn't notice me until I touched the sleeping queen. Help me get rid of them. work together. There's the spindle in the queen's hands. Try to take it while I keep the roses at bay. close to being finished with this nightmare. Where did she take my husband? Have you brought anything for me? This is the blood of my mistress, Augustine. She gave me a part of her soul. Where did you get it? Augustine was always very smart. When her father signed the contract, she tracked down Mayor Tom and revealed his secret. Tom owned a magic spindle that could turn straw into gold. 
The young girl went to Tom and wished for the impossible. His spindle. The wishmaster couldn't resist fulfilling the wish. But he couldn't let her outsmart him. He promised to come for the debt he was owed in three years. If Augustine didn't give him what he asked for, she'd pay with her life. For three years, Augustine looked for a way to avoid paying her debt. She found a magic casket with roses that could defend her against anyone. But for this, she gave the casket a part of her soul. One day, Tom came to the castle and demanded she give him her biggest treasure, her firstborn child. But she managed to hide the baby. She assumed her life was safe, too. The Roses didn't let Tom go near the Queen to take his spindle. But they couldn't save her from being cut by a poison spinning stick. The poison started slowly killing her. there's someone alive here? Those roses destroyed us all. I'm Martha, the miller's wife, and Augustine's mother. I can't bear to be stuck here. I'm bound by my contract. I had to tell Tom the name of my newborn grandson. I never learned it because all of the children were taken from the castle. Please, help me find out my grandson's name. Your work won't go unrewarded.
Your husband Jack's my grandson? It's awful that you're both in Tom's debt. You can reach the garden through this window. You'll find an abandoned tower there. I know Augustine spent a lot of time there. Maybe there will be something there to help you fulfill your contract. Have you brought anything for me? Of course, I know Martha. She loved Augustine more than life. Martha rushed to the castle to see her grandson, but found her daughter dying instead. She was wrapped in strange roses that wouldn't let Martha approach her. She lost her daughter and grandson in one day. Mad with grief, she called on Tom and begged him to keep her daughter alive. Martha signed the contract, and Tom fulfilled her wish in his own way. Augustine was kept alive, but in an eternal sleep.
Have you brought anything for me? Ah, yes. I've finally tasted his blood. He is the one to blame. Everyone knows him as Tom, the mayor of Wishville. Tom found out about Wishmasters and wanted to become one. He discovered the Wishmaster's true name and took his power. He made sure to keep his own name a secret. The magic spindle provided him with golden yarn that could fulfill wishes. This let him control his debtors. That is, until he met Augustine and lost his spindle. His stores of golden yarn ran dry and his strength weakened. His greatest secret was still kept well. Now his blood will reveal it. His true name is Rumpelstiltskin. Only my mistress knows the words to unlock me. She wrote them in the book. Read them! send you here. Confess! He'll never get anything from me. He's powerless without his spindle. Augustine, stop! He's your son! I don't believe you! Another one of Tom's tricks. Get away or I'll kill you! My son, Jack. I've been sleeping for so long. The roses turned me into a monster. I almost killed my own son! I won't let Tom trap you. Hurry, open my casket. The roses will vanish and Tom will come here. As soon as you give him the spindle to break your contracts with him, I'll make him pay for everything he's done.
Have you brought anything for me? See, the roses have vanished. Does that mean you're ready to fulfill your part of our bargain? Thank you. You and your husband make quite the team. Both of your contracts have been fulfilled. But not yours, Augustine. Remember, it's your life or his. Look, your sons die because of your trickery. Whose life will it be? I'll be making the commands now, Rumpelstiltskin. Your power is mine. I'll be taking over the duties of Wishmaster. Farewell. No. No! Augustine, Jax dying. Please, save him. You're the Wishmaster now. Revive him. I'll sign any contract with you. I'll fulfill your wish. All I need in return is for you and my son to live a life filled with love. Wish and dream. Just remember, every wish has a price. <laughs> <laughs> 